Alrighty, hello everyone and welcome to another Reveal 334 Place Terra. Uh, so, had a little bit of an issue on a previous recording, it kind of corrupted partway through the video, and uh, internet crept out on me, so I'm in the middle of, I was, in the middle of doing the Labyrinth of Terror to go after Killian. And give a quick recap of what had happened. Uh, the basic thing is that uh, Elyon got shot with some force stuff, so he's down for right now. And Jelena and Elyon expect me to go in here and beat up Killian. And we were originally looking for a Crimson Arzakar. Killed it rather quickly. And we've just been kind of streaming through these, uh, streaming through these guys. Oh, and there is an event going on that's, uh, you gotta complete a dungeon run, I guess, with other people. I'm not sure. Uh, 15 times, 25 times, and then hard mode 15 times, 25 times. So this is the Krieger Hall Teleportal. We found it. Now we use it to go to Krieger Hall. Let's go beat up a... Let's go beat up on Killian. Ooh. There's Killian. God of Chaos. What the? It didn't let me combo into my other moves. And I whiffed three of them right there. Okay, that is... I can't even see myself. I can't... Oh, wow. Um... Uh, resurrect. I guess I resurrect for 10 gold. What the heck? Okay, so I've got to get to the outskirts. Quick. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, Jesus. Crap. Vigilic. Come on, let me... Get back in this corner. What the? I was on the outskirts. That's not fair. I was on the outskirts. And it revives Killian! That's definitely not fair. Uh, maybe I have to be on the outskirts of... of his vision. Maybe over here will protect me? I'm not particularly certain. Oh, yeah, okay, so over here is fine.
F9. Would you let me use my skills, you darn hobo? Killian, you're a hobo. Woo! That could have been bad in a second. Okay, let's uh, pick up this. 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 Let's go ahead and pick everything up real quick. And this. Hey! I got the uh, the shard I needed for this thing. So the next one... Okay, so relic fragment. Uh, we're going to move these up a bit. I got relic fragment 3, which is for armor. And relic shard 3, which I think is for weaponry. And I got two rings and two of that stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and just retrieve the gem. Man, I didn't expect to die twice, actually. Oh, what's this? Okay, I don't understand why that was glowing, but okay. Okay, so... We're gonna leave via the teleportal entrance. And then we're going to go to... Hebraer to go talk to Jelena. See how Elion's doing. Good thing I've got uh, safe haven teleport scrolls. We're going to take the easy way back. So I lost 20 gold to that fight. Ooh. That stings me more than the half and use actual scrolls of resurrection that I have on person a little bit. So, let's see. Are these better than what I've got currently on? Yeah, they are. Huh. Those must be the next upgrades, and I just didn't have them yet. I don't know why I wouldn't have, but <laughs> apparently I didn't. Keep your head clear. So, we'll just uh, sell the old ones. Get about three of the gold back. That's good. Alright, and then... I know, yeah, this one and this one. We'll forge this up. Nope. Oh. Now we'll go for... I know, I just earned all that money from selling all that stuff and I already used it to turn and burn, but it makes my stuff better. See, and now I get the Gloves of Torment, which are higher, and the Boots of Travail. And a new Glyph. Plus I leveled up. So. For what I just did, that's the Keen Heart Thrust now. So it was Heart Thrust. Uh, right here it is. It allows me to get this one, which triples the crit factor. So the next time I get four, which uh, should be a few levels. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and equip the new stuff. We'll put these down here, and then we'll take this off. Upgrade this to plus three. And then we'll start keeping relic shards. From what I've seen, you can't upgrade Relic Shards, which kind of sucks. Like, you couldn't do what I used to do stronger. with, uh... And there, I got my gold back. I think I got all of it back anyways with what I got from, uh... From the quest, but... So, you can't, um, fuse them together like I could do with, uh the feed stock, and I think I could do it with the Alkahest even. I think I could fuse them together to make stronger versions of Alkahest. But these things I have to get slowly. So I think they made this more of like a grind now. A grind out all the stuff you have. 
Hopefully they ask me to go back to Kaitor, because I've got my, uh, teleport. I don't quite remember. It's been, like I said, it's been a while since I did, uh, this section of the game. As my brawler. Alright. So there's Morak, Forvoth, and other blacksmiths. Alright, so gather Ice Marrow and Fire Marrow. So this requires killing like two big guys. I remember that much at least. So, they're up here in the Vale of Spires, so we'll probably use the Teleportal to try to get up closer. Uh, oh hey, there's uh, Kelsaic's Nest in the Ebon Tower. We'll go to Ice Base Defiance, because I figure that's as close as we can get to the arrow area where the Ice Marrow and the Fire Marrow is. I'm thinking we have to kill two big things for those. Badge merchants were led by Barad, the first ever trader in the... Oh, first ever trader. Well, Barad's got my respect for being the first trader in the land. I mean, not much of it, but... But yeah, you can see there's two teleportals, Ebon Tower and then Kelsaic's Nest. Uh, those should be the next two we're going towards. I know when I did the Ebon Tower as part of my story mode. Yeah, there's two big guys and they're in caves. I remember this now. Uh, more Zer metal. Uh. Oh, what was I talking about? The, ah, the Ebon Tower. When I did it the first time, I'd already went through it once and, like, over-leveled myself per the areas, so I kind of am already expecting to potentially do one of these dungeons real quick with some friend with some uh, random people. And there's the Ice Marrow. Now we continue on to go get the Fire Marrow. If I remember, you had to go around this a bit to get to it. <coughs> oh man, 365 fashion coupons. That would have been glorious. Just, just glorious. Actually, I wonder what... Because uh, I will be away from my computer a bit. I keep forgetting to claim stuff. I think I've claimed up to... No, I haven't claimed up to today. I don't even think I claimed today's. That might be why that thing keeps flashing. I don't want to claim today's, though. I claim it on my main account. Alright, so this is the guy, Alcor. He's got the fire marrow. Yeah, I forgot that you have to go from, like, over here, which is weird, 
over here, and then I think back to Habrer, which I'll just teleport at that point. But, like, it's a really weird miss for, oh, we have to go this way, we have to go that way. There we go, so I don't have to hold down keys, I'll do the auto run function. I got stuck there for a second. Oof. <laughs> you control this with your mouse, so I kind of had to reorient my mouse and... Well, it reoriented my screen a little too much. Here we are. Should have bought a pickaxe before going out of town. But at least there's a lot of glacial ice. Uh, I think the last time I was here, like, half of this was gone already. Because people had already been there grabbing stuff. So. Took me a good bit longer. Now we go back to Maroc, so I'm gonna just pop a safe haven, teleport scroll. Mem. Uh, if you saw the little thing for my uh, volume button, but I'm still getting used to the new headphones, so I kind of went to rub my neck and it, uh, it nudged it a little. Oh, and the new headsets are great. Couldn't ask for a better set for the price we got them for. Alright, let's go talk to Murak. Oh, I guess he's working on it right now. I'm not, uh... Not sure, I didn't actually, uh... Oh! Go to Gekas, the Kastanik Engineer at Herbrer. Gassius? I don't know. I do hate that that... I know you can uh, do this and it'll get rid of it off your uh, hub. I was kind of leaving it there because it was a cutesy little thing. But with the four on it, I keep like looking over at it and I'm getting distracted. We'll leave it up though because it's no more a distraction than the one on that thing. Granted, that thing flashes at me, the, uh, the Ellen with the present up there doesn't, so I'm kind of happy about that. Uh, 
Try to keep up, child. We'll see if the Federation lasts. Okay, so... Relic Fragment 3, which... goes for enchanting weapons, but... Oh! Actually, weapon could use an enchantment. To plus 3. Okay, so now we have five of these to look through. I only got one that I can actually use, which is increasing the skill damage of uh, Knockdown Strike. The rest of these... Oh wait, no! I could probably use some of these. A uh, Glyph of Persistence I've already got. I've pulled two of those for some reason. And then these two are just level 60 Glyphs. That's why I couldn't see them. Or it doesn't let me use them. I'm not level 60 yet. Alright, so easiest way would be to go to this teleportal and then backtrack a tiny bit, it looks like. Honestly, when I had first uh, done this, I still had the Travel Atlas. Or er, the thing that let me put down uh, locations, and I had already put one down at the Ebon Tower, so I just used it and teleported straight there. Alrighty, so... Oh, right. There's a gate. Out of my way. Because they're in a cave. Not down there, but over here. Hey there. The forward guard. And there's Trevor. In. You need my help? Now we walk to the Ebon Tower. It, the thing assumes that you probably teleported over here, go up this way, and then go into the Ebon Tower. Or straight to the Ebon Tower and you destroy the thing that's blocking the entrance. One or the other. My easy way was just destroy the thing blocking the entrance. Alright, so we get up here. We take Killian's gem to the teleportal. 